Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is your host Nazar. Today we will understand the concept of class definition. A class definition is a process of naming a class data member and member function. Data member is nothing but variable. Member function is interface operators of a class. What is class? A class is a collection of related data and functions under a single name. A class consists of three major parts that is class name, data member which is also called as properties or attributes and member function which is also called as behaviors or accessories. Example Consider a dog as a class name, name of a dog, number of legs, color is nothing but data member or attribute. The functions like eats, walk, sleep comes under the function of a dog or else we can call it as member functions. So the basically a class is a collection of related data member and member functions under a single name. In other words, class is a user defined data type which holds its own data members and member functions. Class can be accessed and used by creating an instance of a class. In C++, class is like a blueprint of an object. Now we will try to understand what is class definition. A class definition is a process of naming a class and data variable and interface operations of the class. As I have told you earlier, a class consists of class name data member and member functions. Consider an example class interest where interest is a name of a class private double s i p t r is nothing but data member and the members are s i p t and r and we have three member functions public wide get data, void, compute, void, display. So in this class, we have class name as interest, data member as SIPTR, and member functions as get data, compute, and display. There are no restrictions that it, a class can have only one type of data type. You can define data members with different data types that is SI can be defined under float PTR can be defined under int so there are no restrictions that you have to define all the member functions under a single data type in this example we have defined data type under private and all the three member functions under public access specifiers a class always ends with a semicolon In C++, member functions can be defined in two places, inside class definition and outside class definition. Now let us understand how a member function of a class can be defined inside the class. To define member function inside a class, the function declaration within the class is replaced by actual function definition inside the class. A function defined in a class is treated as inline function. Only small functions are defined inside class definition. However, when function is defined inside the class, then class name and scope resolution operators are not specified in function header. 
consider the following example where the class name is add data member which is declared in int assigned with some variable a the value is 5 b value 10 and sum which has to be calculated so a b and sum are data member we are declaring one member function inside the class that is inside function a member function which holds the property of the mem of the function what exactly a function has to do within the class can be defined as c out a equal to value of a b equal to value of b and sum of a plus b is nothing but a plus b operator defining a member function inside the class is nothing but we have to declare a member function and below that we have to write a program what the function has to do before closing the class program that is within before the semicolon this is another type of example where we have defined member function inside the class in this the class name is add data member a b and some member functions get data calculate and display you can observe all these three member functions are defined inside the class once the display is been written then the class is been closed after display member function and all these three member functions are called in void mean you can note one thing while defining a class member function inside the class we don't use any scope resolution before member function or neither class name or class label is used before member function now let us see the second type of definition member function of a class which can be defined outside the class or outside the class definition member function declared inside the class has to be defined separately outside the class they should have function header and function body function header should contain class name and scope resolution operator member function has an identity label in the header this label tells the compiler which class the function belongs to the scope of the member function is limited to the class mentioned in the header consider this example where we have defined the member function outside the class here the class name we have used as add data member a b and some member functions get data calculate and display we have just defined the member functions inside the class and we have not declared what exactly the member function has to do this declaration is done outside the class that is outside semicolon while declaring member function outside the class we have to use class name or class label followed by scope resolution that is four dots scope resolution with member function name this links member function with the particular class a class name should be followed with member function name each member function has to be defined one after another defining member function outside the class is considered as a good practice because 
here we can secure our data member and member function this is for the security purpose of the program where we show only the essential features and hide the background details by the concept of abstraction and the same member function which we had defined in class and declared outside the class can be called using object in main function conclusion the main advantage of using a static member is to declare the global data which should be updated while the program lives in the memory when a static memory is declared private the non member function cannot access these members but a public static can be accessed by any member of the class if this video has helped you to understand the concept consider subscribing so that you don't miss upcoming videos check in the description as i have given link of other related videos thank you